Hello everyone. This is Opposing Force. I am Parky and I'll play this for you in this marathon. Um, Kikistas was supposed to run this, but he was called by a university yesterday and he called me like last moment to run this for you. So, <laughs> hello Proto. So let's get started. So one, two, three, go. All right, so we start in this room, but we can actually move, Four. even though it's a black screen going on. Let's do some clean hops and get the suit. <laughs> the suit uh, has a funky night vision. I removed the green filter to make it easier to see. All right. While Otis is speaking, let's do some funny object boosting with the chair. Oops. Come on, boy. Ah, okay, I did not get any. <laughs> but it's okay. So if you're a fan of frame perfect tricks, there's one coming up. It's called Jump Bug, and it will cancel fall damage for me. Just so I can skip like a small portion of the game. Let's go. Less RNG. First try, oh my god. That was not happening while I was practicing. <laughs> Must be Proto, Kappa. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, wait out this cutscene. This game has some downtime, it's good to re -chat. I don't know what to say much about this game. It's the best HL expansion pack ever. The pack. I guess I'll attempt to do all the hardest tricks, just for a good show off. And just a little bit more of waiting. There's G-Man, for those who like. I'm gonna spray on his face. Alright, let's go. Do a big boost. That's the big boost I was waiting for. Not too, not as clean, but it works. Okay, so I'll destroy some boxes that are blocking a robot there and in the meanwhile I'll get ammunition and hand grenades because he takes forever to go to his destination I'll uh, stop the sound to stop the buzzing Okay, so here I'll do something fancy. Um, I'll wait just enough time to jump on this asset or toxic waste. I'm gonna lower my FPS to 20 there, just so I can jump on it just once and press this button to go up here. And we're done with the first chapter. It was nice, it was a very clean chapter. This train. Let's clip out of the train. Let's listen to the message. Please keep your limbs in, in, inside the train at all times. Keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Associate with 
Not following the rules. I must go fast. Nope. Hello there. But yeah, this is like another downtime on the run. Probably the biggest downtime. There's nothing you can do to speed this thing up. It was one of the reasons why I kinda had to take a break from this game. It's kinda annoying to have to wait out in Half-Life. Best chamber skip in HL1 is already enough. For this game, this train ride is kinda the same thing. And it's right at the start. I don't know how long it is, like longer to one, one minute for sure. Test chamber skip is just one minute as well. Uh, sorry, that was my OBS. Someone followed me. I apologize for that. I forgot to disable it. Okay, so now that we are out of the train, we can stand like further away from where we are actually supposed to be. So I can stand here instead of there, and it saves some traveling distance. Okay, so while I activate this cutscene and they talk, I'll go down there and get a pistol. More specifically, the most OP pistol in the entire Half-Life series. This one. And uh, it's gonna be useful to kill some enemies. Enemies in this game are extremely OP. So let me do something fancy here as well. You guys better not blink for this one. Oh no, <laughs> not first try, but there we go, elevator, skip kinda. Yeah, now there's skip baru here, oop, failed it, it's a bit off sequence, that is very tight, I think I got it. Ooh no, he got stuck there, <laughs> so I'm trying to hit two triggers to get to this soldier here before he runs away and the reason why I need to do this is not because I'm a cool guy I actually want his gun so give it to me I'm gonna save a little to loop his death animation and get more ammunition and this gun gives me some boost and it's gonna be very useful this early in the game to get boosted really quickly you gotta wait it out a bit Sorry for the fall. <laughs> I mean, thank you for the fall, but uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Some clean boosting. Ooh, that was kind of close. I don't have enough speed. Oh my dog! <laughs> I almost got my head decapitated there. Okay, let's go for a first cycle, boys. Oh, no, I got stuck. Half life. Getting stuck. Yeah, I got first cycle anyway. Oh, good luck, guys. I I managed to have a clean box here. Like sometimes cockroaches, they like to block me or block the box more specifically. Oops, I don't want to take that damage. Um. <laughs> Questionable movements. I'm gonna land on this slope here just to observe all fall damage. And now I will do a grenade boost that will skip a small puzzle. I'm gonna jump on this alien because he doesn't care apparently. Oops. <laughs> And first try. It's always easy, by the way. Oops. I'll use the LMG here to skip the vent breaking. This jump is kinda tricky, but I'm sure I'll get it. Oops. Alright, easy. 
You're actually supposed to go around, but if you jump there, you can skip some traveling distance. Let's call our mates. They will uh, unlock this door for us because it's clearly broken. I'll throw some nades just so I can give them the, give them some spooks and skip a dialogue. A dialogue trigger to be more precise. Okay, so while this guy is uh, opening the door for us, let's get some HP. Okay, he survives my 360 range. Ouch. The range, by the way, is somehow extremely overpowered, like you can just destroy enemies. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but I find it funny. Alright. This is the most RNG based chapter, but everything will be fine, I'm pretty sure. I throw some nades here to avoid getting hit by the Vortkins. I actually have too much armor. They hit me again. Me. This should be enough. Let's see. Uh, I think I'll have to throw the nade on the ground and jump later. That's not really what I usually plan to do, but fine. All right, easy. I'm gonna throw a nade there to make a medic run away a bit and skip a dialogue trigger as well. Let's open the way for the medic. Oh, nice aim. <laughs> medic likes to get stuck behind the door. Okay, make sure he's falling. Let's do some grenades by saving and loading, because they will be very useful later. I'll heal a bit before he heals to our friends. He, like the guy on the ground, will help us to open another door. Man, if we make it out of here alive, I'm gonna buy you all around a beer. Half life and people promising you to buy beers. Since 1998. Okay, so hopefully this guy will not get aggroed by the dogs. And he didn't. All right, perfect. Sometimes he likes to to stop and watch out for the dogs down here. I don't know why that happens. And while the guy is. Uh, open the door. I go down there just to get some items. I don't know what happened there. I was about to shoot to <laughs> say like, yeah, there's like a funny thing you can do here, but he decided to blow up by himself. I never seen that before. That was kind of weird. Oh no. Uh, I mean, it's okay to take damage there. <laughs> I just uh, prefer not to. So here we do a skip by pressing this button like this instead of like going all around there. And this is the on a rails chapter of opposing force, but gladly, very short. Shoot a grenade there just to spook the the enemy there so that he doesn't shoot me. And it's done. Now, I don't think there's much RNG in this game anymore, so that's a fuse good man. And we are introduced to Zen, the alien world in Half-Life. And here's the best gun of opposing force, the teleporter gun. Some people say it's the alpha project of the actual portal gun in Portal series. I think it is. Not too sure about Half-Life trivia too much, but it will help us skip some big chunks of, uh, chunks of the game. All right, so we get some armor for some boosts. Ah, it 
my brains and your brawn will make an excellent guess. Let's go. All right, scientists. Whatever you say, my name. Whatever you say, my dude. There's a very small chance that the game crashes here, so I'll make a save. Of course it will not crash here, right? Right, it didn't. Perfect. So Barney there, or rather Otis, likes to drop some weird gun sometimes and the game likes to crash, but gladly this is not the case. Alright, so we have full ammo for this teleporter gun. I... I'll explain more about it when the time comes. Another small cutscene. We are trapped in a black room. That headpad likes to kiss me every time. It's like kiss for good luck. So let's open this valve to open the way for the next level. Please don't bite me. <laughs> it's a very angry doggo. Water doggo. Let's try this one, two. Alright, so I save and load in Zen, and the game kinda loses track of where I was, so when I come back to Earth, it teleports me on a default ish position, and this default ish position happens to be a bit far away, or further away from where I'm supposed to go naturally, so I'll be doing this a few more times. There we go. You guys need to play this casually to understand how much of the game I'm skipping, but trust me, we skip quite a lot. And here I'll do a trick to reverse the elevator with the trip line. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to look like way better than what I just did there, but yeah. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna get more ammunition for the teleporter gun. Oh no. <laughs> Not first try everything this run, but it's okay. I land on the slope there, just so I can absorb all damage. It works quite well. Not gonna get stuck in the vents. Alright. <laughs> so you can get stuck on that vent and when that happens it's kinda embarrassing. <laughs> Shout out to Dot Kappa. Oops. Desert Eagle? No. <laughs> Good thing uh, this boss did not hit me. We skipped this entire boss by doing like two jumps here. I forgot to mention it. I've been playing this for so long, I even forgot the details compared to the casual run or the casual playthrough of this. Yeah, by just doing two jumps there, you just skip the entire section there. I don't think they realize people could do this in the future. I think the developers of Opposing Forest, they don't really like speedrunners, because at the start of the game, I did the jump bug, if you guys remember, and they placed a death trigger, like, just for the sake of um, not allowing players to jump there before the time. So if they knew about it, they would probably like try to fix it right away. I can use this medic through the through the vent here while he's opening it. And I'll get a sniper rifle that is the second or maybe the most OP gun in this game. I'll use this bad boy for the boss fight.
They keep coming. Alright. Let's throw some grenades to scare the aliens. I don't want them to beat me. Okay, time for deserts. This map is kind of fun to play. I'll do two jumps here to skip the water. Water in this game slows the player down a lot. So the least water you can touch, the better. I'm gonna surf here on the rocks. I need boost to go over the gates. And here there's a shopper that um, usually likes to destroy the player, but because I know some speedrunning sheets, he will not shoot me too much. Right there. It was actually perfect. My armor is gonna be perfect for a boost coming up. I can actually pick up more. <laughs> Just for... Just for safety. Uh, I forgot to reload this bad boy. Alright, Borny. And on to the last chapter of the game. That was a quick run. Uh, oops. No, okay. <laughs> uh, I have perfect armor. That's good, but I have to kill this guy. Sorry. I usually use him to adjust my armor, but it's not gonna be able to shine this uh, run. Let me do a nade boost here to go over the boxes. Come on, this is not too hard. Come on, baby. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling this. Maybe I have too much armor or something. I mean, uh, not enough armor. I usually have like 14 or something. What? Okay, there we go. I just needed to adjust the angle a bit. Let's go to the boss fight. I'm not a good guy. Okay, so I have to wait a bit to touch this trigger. Just so I don't soft lock the boss. If I see the sprites there, that means I did not soft lock. And while the boss is doing his epic entrance, I can uh, get some HP here in this healing potion or whatever. Let's get some armor. Ideally, we don't get hit, but you never know. We even have time to stack some boxes, so let's do it. get here. I'm not gonna break this box though because if the item spawns and falls into me I I might crash the game and I don't want that. Okay so let's poke his eye. Oh oops <laughs> and shoot his belly. And we need to do this like four times. Kind of repetitive. And he's gonna spawn some friends down here, but they will act cool and avoid me. And ignore me actually. I'm gonna throw some nades to scare them away. Works every time.
But yeah, time is coming up soon, so get ready for that. They don't die. <laughs> they are so OP. And shout out to Alex Howie, if you guys watch him on SGDQ. Uh, try to do a 360. There we go. 360 no scope just for just for defense. And that was Half Life Opposing Force. If you'd like to learn this run, uh, you can talk to me. Or you can talk to Havoken or the guys on Source Run server. And thanks for having me. I can show off a small easter egg here, if I have time for that. You're not supposed to see this.